very severe cyclonic storm Bipurjoy is inching closer to the Gujarat coast. The cyclone developed in the Arabian Sea is expected to make landfall on June 15th. The cyclone might cause storm surges of 2 to 3 meters in height and can destroy thatched houses, damage pakka houses and roads and cause flooding in the northern and western coastal districts of Gujarat. It might also cause widespread damage to standing crops, plantations and orchards. The cyclone might also disrupt railway service, electricity supply and signalling systems. Bipur Joy is expected to generate wind speeds of 125 to 135 km per hour with gusts reaching up to 150 km per hour by the time it reaches land. It has been categorized as a tropical cyclone. The National Disaster Management Authority classifies cyclones broadly into two categories, extratropical cyclones and tropical cyclones. A cyclone is a large-scale system of air that rotates around the centre of a low-pressure area. It is usually accompanied by violent storms and bad weather. A cyclone is characterised by inward spiralling winds. The winds rotate anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Extratropical cyclones are also known as mid-latitude cyclones. They occur outside of the tropic. They have cold air at their core and derive their energy from the release of potential energy when cold and warm air masses interact. Such cyclones always have one or more fronts. They have a boundary between two different types of air masses. One is represented by warm air and the other by cold air. Tropical cyclones are those which develop in the regions between the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer. They are the most devastating storms on Earth. Such cyclones develop when thunderstorm activity starts building close to the center of circulation and the strongest winds and rain are no longer in a band far from the center. The core of the storm turns warm and the cyclone gets most of its energy from the latent heat released when water vapour that has evaporated from warm ocean waters condenses into liquid water. Tropical cyclones have different names depending on their location and strength.